Hello, this is Daniel Mart, and today I'm going to be doing another um, video <coughs> video review, and this one's going to be for Const <coughs> Constantine, sorry, <coughs> there I am, Con and this one's going to be for Constantine Episode 6, Rage of Caliban, um, so yeah, it's a pretty good episode overall, um, a bit creepy, but most of the episodes on this show are a bit creepy, so yeah. 10 second spoiler warning as usual for those who have yet to actually watch the episode and haven't already um and haven't already stop the video go check it out and come back and watch the rest of this review 10 second spoiler warning as usual starting now yeah okay so yeah that's about 10 seconds pretty sure um, so yeah, 10 seconds are up, so for those who have yet to actually watch the episode and haven't already, um, please don't comment down below or be messaging me that never gave you a fear warning, because as usual, I did. And, yeah, um, as usual, quick synopsis, X and dislike, and then rate. So basically, Constantine has to track down this, uh, murderous spirit, you know, a spirit that, um, killed. But the thing is that this spirit belongs to a child. Um, a child. So, yeah, basically... Um, apparently, all in the show, and I assume the comics, I guess, all of America, and I guess all the world, by that logic, uh, um, lies in a, basically in the spirit, in a spiritual version of the Underground Railroad, is basically the best way I could explain it, basically, um, there's a railroad for the spirits, for, so they can try them, and Constantine has been noticing a pattern that's been happening recently with these murders, that there's, that the, the a kid survives, and the and the parents die, um, and there's, and the kids always seem to be acting up right before the murder of the parents. So yeah, basically he deduces that it's the spirit of a child, which he is right, and now he has to find a way to stop this spirit from killing any other parents, or more parents. Um, so, so yeah, um, pretty interesting episode that, episodes. Um, I did like the concept, you know, of having a murderous um child spirit um and like everyone i guess watched the episode most of us thought it was going to be the spirit of a dead child but it turned out to be the spirit of a living child and the way they explained it was i didn't understand it at first i had to rewatch that scene but basically since what the kid did at that time was just so heinous and so unheard of um the spirits more or less left the kid and left him in a comatosis state basically left the kid paralyzed for some reason or you know just like a veg not a vegetable but i mean he could still move and whatnot but he but he just didn't have enough brain power or his he was just really dim-witted and he just didn't think a lot um when they actually showed the kid in the show and he kind of reminded me of the guy from dumb and dumber 2 in the trailer the guy who's in the wheelchair um, I forget who, I don't, I, I haven't watched Dumb and Dumber in a long time, so I forgot their names, but the guy in the wheelchair kind of reminds me of the guy in, in this episode, um, without the beard and whatever, but just the, the, the way he kind of looked like, almost like that, the way St Stephen Hawking is, um, looked at, who's calling, um, right, mute that, um, so, yeah, a pretty interesting to see that, um, I really did like it. Um, you know, the whole concept of having the murderous teen child was a pretty cool thing to see as a whole, and I really did like it. Um, the acting was pretty well done, in my opinion. The writing was pretty well done, in my opinion, as usual, you know. Um, even negatives, I mean, there's just this, a couple scenes here that I do think could have been improved, uh, in my opinion, because the way it just played out was kind of odd. And just the you know the way it played out, it was, it was overall it was just some of the scenes were kind of odd. The way it play they basically played out is the best way I could explain. It. I don't know. Uh, I don't want to say the writing was bad, but I guess the direction of the scenes were bad. Is what I want to say. Uh, so yeah, I mean the directions of certain scenes were bad. Um, but overall it was a pretty good episode. I do recommend watching the show if you haven't already, and especially if you love the um, Hellblazer comics or the Swamp Thing comics, Phantom Stranger comics. Constantine comics, obviously, or the Trinity of Sin comics, or anything like that, um, or the Supernatural comics, you know, like, the more supernatural stuff that DC has, Swamp Thing, Trinity, uh, Constantine, Phantom Stranger, th that type of stuff, um, I mean, overall, it was a good episode, um, the acting was great, the direction of the episode was great, I really liked the episode, the episode's direction, um, uh, 
I mean, just a few things within some of the scenes that were, I do think could have been improved, um, better explained, maybe. Um, so, um, so yeah, and there's this one scene where the, this kid, he's in school, and he's possessed by the spirit. So he's in school, and basically there's this other kid who's bullying him, and they basically, and basically the next thing, I, next thing that happens afterwards is that this kid pushes, pushes the other kid, you know, the, the possessed kid pushes the bully onto one of the playground stuff, you know, or something in the playground, and basically, um, cracked his head open, um, because that's the, because the next scene, it's the parents, um, uh, punishing the kid, you know, you know, you know, that kid came to our house with a broken skull or something, and I'm like, I, why can't they just have show that, I mean, maybe it would have been a bit graphic, true, but I would have loved to see, I've seen that, um, um, so yeah, and then there's also this the scenes in the haunted house. That was pretty cool, pretty creepy. You know, having already this one demonic kid in a haunted house, you know, doesn't really make it that um all uh, that much better. Um I mean, yeah, I mean I really did like the episode as a whole, the direction pretty good. Good. Um and I think out of all the episodes, direction wise, this is probably one of the best ones or one of the better ones. Um, because, I mean, all of them have a pretty solid plot, pretty good, but I think this is one of my favorite plots from the, um, one of the episode, episodes in this show. Um, I mean, the ones with Papa Midnight, those are cool, too, those are pretty good to see. And the first episode were, um, was also pretty cool. I mean, all the episodes are pretty good, but, you know, direction-wise, I think this is one of the better ones. So, yeah, that's, um, on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the worst, 10 the best, and 6 being decent. I give this episode an 8 out of 10. It's a pretty good episode. Definitely, definitely do check it out. And, yeah, that's basically it, it for now. Um, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I do movie reviews, TV show reviews, and comic book reviews. So, definitely do stay tuned for that. Besides that, comment down below on your thoughts on the episode or your thoughts on it. And, yeah, um, like the video, it's on Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, or whatever you guys prefer. And that's basically it for now. This is Daniel Mart signing off. Uh, Thank <laughs> you.